What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one. Today we will be going back over to the energy line of Tiaza and that is with the peppermint pouches. So let's get a look at the presentation. Plastic can, plastic bottom, uh, seems very sturdy, uh, no tobacco, no nicotine, energy, focus, oral stimulation going around the front. Um, TiazaTobaccoFree.com is the website. There is a flashy gold background, and the gold will let you know that it is of the energy line. We have the flavor, which is peppermint, and is the same around the sides. Net weight is 10 grams, 10 pouches, so one gram per pouch. Uh, make your mouth happy, tiazatobaccofree.com, barcode. Then on the back, we have the supplement facts, the serving size, the vitamins, the proprietary blend, and all of the ingredients therein. Um, I don't want to go through the entire list, but it is essentially stuff like green tea, yerba mate, uh, caffeine, panax, ginseng, and other natural sources, sources of energy. Um, there is quite a bit of information also over on the website, which I would greatly recommend checking out. Um, as there, you could kind of read it at your own pace rather than me trying to cram it all into uh, the video. Okay, uh, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet peppermint scent coming off of it. And because I just bought a can of it because I was looking for something different the other day, it reminds me quite a bit of General's Mint Snooze. Uh, that's that's really the peppermint flavor uh, coming off of it, which is an excellent sign because as far as snooze goes, General Mint is basically my favorite. Although, you know, with that said, I haven't ordered from Europe ever and there are limited choices in the States, but I, it so far has been my favorite uh, snooze. Um, a side note, and I did post it on the community tab, which is like a wall of sorts where we can post that I kind of forgot about using. Um, I did post on there that the FDA has granted Swedish Match a modified risk uh, for general snooze. So it doesn't mean that it is without risk, but it does kind of, it, they have been pushing that for quite some time. And it, it basically is stating that it is a safer, not safe, but safer alternative uh, to manufactured cigarette smoking, which most of us knew already, but it is, it is nice seeing something of that come out of the FDA. I was not expecting it really, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, so that was, that was the news of late uh, as far as that goes. So Tiaza. They have a bit of a different value proposition than the other herbal dip companies. They are kind of marketing this as a energy supplement as well as a dip alternative. You don't see that much and I kind of like that about the company. Um, and the reason goes to basically what where the founder's history was. A, as a wellness physician, wrote a couple of For Dummies books, Healthy Aging for Dummies and Superfoods for Dummies. So he has kind of been in the, you know, natural and supplement kind of market. Um, like I've been saying, they do have two product lines. They have an energy line uh, and they have a chill line, which has Rolora in it and it does not have caffeine. So the energy line, of course, does have caffeine. Uh, this would be unlike the mango, which was the XXX. 
this is the standard line uh, of the energy line. So this is, I believe, 50 milligrams of caffeine in this one. Um, yeah, do check out their website. There's a wealth of information over there. Uh, the pouch, as I had said in the last one, the pouch itself is actually larger than you will find with a lot of other dips, other herbal dips. Um, in fact, if we want to compare to other herbal dips, if you'd look at when I did the Smoky Mountain mint snuff pouches, they were actually relatively tiny. They were on par with a lot of the nicotine pouches that are putting out there right now uh, by On and others. So, peppermint flavors coming through. Uh, we'll see how it uh, develops here in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, they, they sent me quite a little bit of literature and the other factor that I will be trying out in, in some time in the future is this right here, dip it or sip it. So in other words, one could dip it as we are now, put it in cold water or, um, hot water and make basically a tea out of it. Um, I don't know how all these would taste in tea, just, just putting that out there. I am, I, I am kind of, maybe I'm not with the norm, but I'm not really a mint and tea kind of guy. If you were, I think this would work well. Um, I don't know how mango habanero would come out in tea, but I, I'm kind of curious, so I may try it anyway. Um... You know, just some of the flavors don't strike me as something I would be drinking. Uh, that doesn't mean they aren't, they might not be good though. I, you know, um, so yeah. And here they have some of their sports ambassadors listed on the back as well. Um, this one I showed off in in another video, this was the comparison of ingredients with um, other herbal products out there. As you can see, Back Off also has quite a number of, of of the categories in there, but really the others do not have much at all. Um, but Tiazza has by far the most of these. Um, yeah, they're also kind of yeah, they're, they're talking about some of the additives that are used in some of the other products. And yeah, a lot of times some brands just don't always disclose what's in them at all. Uh, or they disclose a couple things, but they do, they leave the rest unknown. And really they don't have, they don't really have to. Um, so it is very nice that we have the supplement facts on the back of these cans. I think the energy level is sufficient. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to switch to this and you're going to be dipping them multiple times a day, then you probably don't want a caffeine overload. Um, so I think it comes in at a fair level. I think grinds, uh, is actually less than, than these are. And I will say that I actually could feel a little bit of an uptick from these. Whereas with grinds, I mean, the flavor's good. It's clearly coffee. Um, it's clearly coffee grounds. But the I remember digging on their website, and I finally found the caffeine content. And it was something like I want to say it was like twenty milligrams, which is like next to next to nothing. I mean, uh, a can of soda has more than that. So it, it was just kind of like I don't know. You know, Grinds is great and all, but my problem is it, it's basically coffee grounds in a pouch with not much else going on. So it, it's kind of to pay five, five fifty a can for a small amount of ground coffee in a pouch. It, it just after a while, it kind of is is a little disappointing. Um, I am liking this brand. Uh, quite a bit. I like the flavors. The flavors, uh, well, this is this is more of a standard line peppermint that you would find with most companies. 
they kind of have to have a peppermint because it's a flavor that people like. On the flip side, there's nothing out of this world about it, which is perfectly fine because I wouldn't I wouldn't want my peppermint to be that different from everybody else's. Um, but I like I really like the mango habanero. I also like the tropical chill. Um, I just I just like the way they go about their business a little bit more than some of the other companies. Um, they are much more transparent and open about the product itself, about what's in it, about why you should try it. Obviously, they think they have a quality product since they were uh, willing to send me a sample. I will not mention any names, but I reached out to a couple places just to see. And uh, one company told me that they don't want their product reviewed on YouTube. Okay, so I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people on YouTube that I, I could see why you wouldn't want them reviewing your product. But at the same time, I took that as more like, well, if you don't want your product reviewed, then <laughs> how good can it be? So um, the fact that they were they were more than willing to send me something upon my inquiry uh, and full cans, no less, I am greatly appreciative of that and, you know, covering the shipping and all of that. So very, very much thanks to them. Um, yeah, I would, I would try these. Uh, if you are looking for an alternative, and sometimes it's tough for me because, as you know, I'm not, like, actively trying to quit dipping. Um, but I do I do have reason to use these from time to time, okay? If I just want to break from dipping, if I want to, um, you know, if I just want to mix it up, uh, give the gums a break. I mean, and for those of you that maybe you've got the old dentist appointment coming up or something and you need to lay off for a little while, this would be a great option. And if you do decide it's time to give up dip, um, this would be a great option. I, I am liking them uh, quite a bit, to be honest with you. So I, I may very well at some point order some more of these. We do have one more to do, which is the chill, or the cool mint chill, rather. But so far, this is shaping up to be one of the better herbal dip experiences I've had. Uh, just to recap, I mean, Smoky Mountain, really the only advantage they have in my mind is the fact that they are available in stores pretty widely. Other than that, take a pass, honestly. The, the cut's not great. The flavors range from okay to not great. Um, Back Off, I think, makes a solid product. I I, I, I'm not a big fan of fine cuts, and they make a lot of fine cut products, so that's one of the drawbacks to me, but their actual, their peach is great, and, and some of their pouches are pretty good. Back off's a solid choice. Grinds, I think you're overpaying for coffee pouches, to be honest with you. Same goes for Java Chews. They're, they're good because they're coffee, and I like coffee, but aside from that, it's, you know, um, I did try hooch. I tried one flavor. I wasn't too thrilled. The cut was god awful. Um, white tail I had recently cut problems, severe, severe cut problem with white tail. Um, and that is one of the main advantages of putting it in a pouch. Uh, it, it, the pouch in these is big enough that it actually feels like a dip. Uh, so that will greatly help out a lot of you guys that um, maybe even stay away from dip pouches because they don't have the feel of dip. This actually has a, because the pouch is loose and big, it actually kind of feels like a dip in your lip. So that's just the short recap of me versus herbal dip brands. Um, I'm pretty impressed with Tiaza. I've got, like I said, I've got one more here to try. Uh, it is going to be the caffeine free cool mint chill. Uh, we will do that next. As far as the peppermint, um, it is a, certainly a solid choice. It is just that I like the other two so far better. Um, but with all that said, I would still give this a 7 out of 10. Good peppermint flavor. I've been leaning away from, from mint in general lately, uh, other than the general snooze that I just bought. But I, I'm more of a wintergreen guy. 
Um, but for the mint people out there, you would probably have no problem uh, trying this out. It's a good, natural tasting peppermint um, with enough flavor to keep you satisfied. So uh, that's about it for this one. I will be back with one more and I will see you next time. Take care.